Zero gravity doesn't exist. Now, I know what you're thinking. Come on, Science Saturdays, you're showing me a picture of astronauts floating around in space. Evidently, zero gravity does exist. And that's where you're wrong. Although that's what terms like zero gravity and weightlessness make us think, these terms are used incorrectly and have created misconceptions in our society. Just a second ago, you were looking at astronauts in the International Space Station. The International Space Station is where a bunch of NASA's experiments take place, and it hovers about 250 miles from Earth, though, so there's still plenty of gravity there, 88.8% .8 of Earth's gravity to be exact. So if there's gravity, why do the astronauts appear to float? That's a good question, and it's due to freefall. Astronauts in the ISS, International Space Station, are falling towards Earth right now because of gravity. Because everything, including the space station itself and everything inside of it, is falling at the exact same rate, since space is a vacuum, things don't appear to be falling. Let's look at an actual clip from the ISS. Neither the astronauts nor the things inside of the ISS appear to be falling, but they are falling at the same time, creating the illusion of floating. Now that we have that out of the way, let's address something different. Can gravity ever not exist, or can things ever be in a state of zero gravity? The answer is no, and here's why. This is the formula for gravity. It looks kind of scary, but I'll break it down for you. The FG is the force of gravity, and it's what we're trying to find. The G is the universal gravitational constant, and it means something and it's pretty fancy and all, but it's not terribly important for what I'm trying to show you, so I'll not explain it just for the sake of simplicity, because I could probably do a video on that alone. The M1 and the M2 are the masses of the two things that you're calculating the gravitational force between, and finally, the D is the distance between the two objects. Now let's put in really, really, really small masses for our two objects, the mass of one hydrogen atom, and a super large distance, the radius of the observable universe. How much gravity do these two hydrogen atoms placed halfway across the observable universe have? Well, this number. So as you can see, this number is very, very small, and that's the point I'm trying to get across. No matter how small of masses you have, and no matter how far away they are from each other, they will always have gravity enacting on each other, and because of that, zero gravity will and cannot ever exist. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. Now, you guys, today, I really enjoyed this episode because I thought that it was really important to do because a lot of people have a misconception that there's no gravity in space, even though it's all around, everywhere in the universe. So I hope that I could clear up misconceptions if you had any. And if you didn't, well, I still hope you enjoyed the video and you could still learn something from it. So once again, if you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.